Uh, I just was thinking about this. So if the if the Earth is flat, how come how come we don't aren't aren't able to get uh, pictures of what it looks like underneath? Because, dude, I said it. The UN has got these gunboats around the edge. You can't go over the edge. No, they don't let anyone over the edge. <laughs> but but I'm curious how that works in space if we're able to get the balloons up. I mean, I'm just. What do they believe space can like, exist? How, we have the no idea what under in the atmosphere. Which is which is somehow like a, not spilling over the edge. I don't know. How right. to, that's a good question. How There's does the atmosphere like a, stay in? Yeah, so I've I seen, how to keep the oceans in, but how to keep the atmosphere in. Well, yeah, I've seen like a dome, like a dome theory where there's like a dome that the sun and the moon are underneath and they like oh rotate above this flat earth. <laughs> what do they, like, Dr. Carter, what do they believe about? But the, the dome theory was invented in the 1800s. The first time that you've, you've seen that famous picture, there's a, yeah. a dome and a traveler with a staff and he's sticking his head through the, the edge of the dome and seeing different stars. You've this probably seen so, that. This is so weird. This actually comes from a book in the 1800s and no evidence of anyone ever talking about it before that. That's so weird. Dr. Carter, what do they believe about um, uh, space in general, like the galaxy, the universe? What, what do they, I don't, I don't, so they, if they throw away the idea of a spherical Earth. I know more about what the geocentrists teach about that. Okay. Because that's an intrinsic part of their model. The flat earthers, they, they, they don't engage in, in questions. They talk about what they think is true, and that's all they talk about. Right. And they never, they don't, they don't say, "Oh, if this is true, then this also must be true." The geocentrists have done a lot more thinking. The flat earthers, they don't because they can't. If you think about outside the box on any of these issues, you know your model is going to fall apart. Which is why I think this is really being driven by charlatans that are atheists, and they've just started doing this for fun. And for some reason, some Christians said, "Well, you know, if the Bible teaches it, it must be true." Mm. Wow, that's a good. That's yeah, a good, I've also yeah. heard that, that's and I'm scared to agree with you. Yeah, but, <laughs> that's a good theory. You know, I mean, it could be. Yeah, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Hmm. Well, and so they Controlling obviously Christians, maybe. yeah, yeah, but and so they obviously they don't believe in like our model of space, though, because no. like the sun is right. close is closer and no, smaller their, to their the earth. The sun is, I think, three thousand miles above the surface. Yeah, but you know something else I just realized recently. Um, if your earth is flat and you want to explain the sunlight, the sun is not shining in a circle on the earth. It has to actually shine in a wedge. Huh. Huh. And that wedge has to go around in a circle like that. You can't get a wedge shaped sunlight thing from a, a round sun. Yeah. Is the sun yeah. flat? Or is that a globe? Um, <laughs> it's a spotlight. I don't know if it has a power source behind it or if it's flat. I'm sorry. The, earth, the moon is flat for them. This is so sorry. nutty. The moon is yeah. flat. This is so nutty. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. Well, and really, like, if you, their main defense is going to be what, like, the government has mm. been doing tons of damage control, open your mind, stop being a pawn of the government. That's really, like, the only defense of their argument you, you typically you hear. Big, you stay right, yeah. You stay <laughs> right. pawn of the government. Me. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Oh my oh, goodness. Bro. Wow. Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. It's absolutely as crazy as it sounds, but somehow people are yeah, believing it's growing. it. I don't even know. And that's and I think it's I mean, like you mentioned, the internet is a huge place for anyone to put their platform on and then if someone is facilitating this as some kind of way to troll Christians, then mm. I mean just Every shame on guy us if that's who believes this is in his mama's basement. In his tidy whities <laughs> with you a won't can of Red that. Bull. Boom, boom, boom. You Every will. single one. But see, that's yeah, the okay, thing. Good. My next, my next retort's gonna be, "Oh, go get a girlfriend." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I agree, but it's crazy because you'll look up some of these things just out of interest, but yep. these people appear very normal, and, like yeah. scarily normal yeah. to have ideas like this. Yeah, yeah. And there, <laughs> there is a commercial airline pilot who exists in this world, who is on his. When he's on the job trying to fly right. people, the keyword yeah. there is a yeah a pilot, and he One. is using his smartphone <laughs> camera to film the horizon. And I bet you he does not tell him the co-pilot. It's because I believe the Earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the horizon, dude? Do you see it, bro? And <laughs> hey, you know what? To the NASA astronauts looking at the horizon, right? They're far enough away they can actually see the whole horizon. Yeah, it's flat. Yeah. It's always flat. Right, yeah. 
because you're looking at a sphere. The higher up you go, the more you can see of it. But all you see is literally a slice of it. Right. And a slice of a circle is always flat because you see that what you can see. And the further all of a sudden you can see the whole thing. Duh. Right. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, anything. And well, and just like images that they would say that like any image we receive from space is obviously a hoax and not a real picture. And so they'll cite, they'll say like, oh, well, look in this picture, like North America is larger in this picture. These images are being manipulated. Yeah, and this goes back to the, you know, did men land on the moon? Yep. Right. Um, and actually, it goes back a little bit to this creation evolution debate. Does There's it? a big difference. Because the creation evolution debate, we're, we're arguing, here's the Bible and here's science and they fit together. Yeah. And that's why evolution cannot be, it doesn't work on either one. Right. But so there's obviously a conspiracy here. It's a spiritual battle. There's a whole bunch of people on that side and a few of us on this side. Well, what's the next step seems to be, oh, well, the Bible also says the earth is the center of the universe. Therefore, it must be a conspiracy. Mm. Oh, but the Bible also indicates the earth is flat. So there must be a conspiracy. Mm. But in so in those that second and third step, you're jettisoning in science. And that's that's it's too much. You can't go there. You can't you can't throw away all reason and you can't throw away reality. Right. That is not biblical. It really is like like you said, it's just a soundbite belief. Mm -hmm. Like if all the sound bites that they use, all the little statements, all the little facts, if all those if like if that's all you're going off of, then of course you could see how someone could believe it. But that's not all that exists in the world in terms of scientific knowledge there's so much more than just sound bites and the internet because of its nature is ruled by sociopaths <laughs> <laughs> hey and how many websites do you know that they've turned off their comments because like forget this why do we even have comments these people are just idiots no more comments right right, right. And um, who's whose rule is that um oh I, I forget um on any internet thing um the probability of someone mentioning uh hitler approaches one this is it's, huh. it's a new yeah. law it's the yeah. law of somebody's law yeah yeah i forget, oh, the, oh, name I forget the name of the law Wait. i know what you're talking about yes yes yeah it's like it'll always happen no matter what someone's gonna be called a nazi nazi right yeah. Especially yeah. Today. oh there it is nazi <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um so uh here's little interesting thing awesome. it's kind of cool uh i went to <laughs> australia by the way i hooked up with your with your boys over in australia from creation ministries international when i was there in yeah. november when i was there in november and then i went to new zealand and i was in christ church which is right right near the bottom and uh i got to see my hotel i could look at my window in my hotel and about 50 feet away was a, a fence from the united states government in new zealand uh really? and it was their antarctic uh, antarctic um uh Thing. It was the where they go and they. I forget there's a name of it. I forget, I'm trying to think of the name of it. It was a U.S. United States military installation to study Antarctica. And uh, I, I guess notice they weren't on Antarctica. That's <laughs> right. I did see a couple of UN blue hats running around. <laughs> a bunch of deceivers. <laughs> Nazis. Um, could you see? Could you see the edge of the Earth? From, from <laughs> no. Our church. I couldn't, and that's the problem. That's why I wanted to have Dr. Carter on today. <laughs> now you've, you've given me some solace, Dr. Carter, because I was getting worried there. Um, hey, by the way, yeah. if the earth is flat, we can explain, they can explain why all the stars ro rotate around the North Pole, right? Because the, the, I guess either the earth is spinning or the universe is spinning around the North Pole, right. right? Right. But when you were in New Zealand, did you try to look at any familiar constellations in the sky? Uh, no, but I did. You, have to, you I did. have to do this to see the constellations you're familiar with because everything's upside down and right. everything's rotating around the southern pole. Yes. As a matter of fact, one thing that was interesting about Australia and New Zealand was the direction that the water goes down the toilet. Yeah. How, no. do, they, how do they explain that one? <laughs> not true. That's not true. No? No, it's not true. Oh, it's, it's not true? It's the UN. No, because the <laughs> toilets, the, the, the things are angled. Oh, is that their explanation? No, that is the explanation. That's the explanation. The real I'm explanation. Not a bit, okay, look, I'm no, not, this is not my area of expertise. Small to see the Coriolis force. Okay. A fish tank. If you have a perfectly still fish tank and pull the plug and pull a hole in the bottom, okay, it's too small to see the Coriolis force. Well, then why was everyone telling me that in Australia, and New Zealand? Are they messing with the, me? They're yeah, they're messing with you, or they didn't know. 
I, I went to Ecuador once, and the first thing I did, I'm, I was on a little town right on the equator. I'm literally, the equator went through the town. I ran into the bathroom, I filled up the sink, I unplugged the sink, and I flushed the potty. And they went in different directions. Okay, just one. They should have gone straight down. They shouldn't have spun at all. Okay, just one thing. You are a scientist, and you just use the word potty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm, okay. Well, in I Australia, may, they I, use that word toilet. I may <laughs> have been wrong about the water flow thing, but you did just say potty. And yeah, you have right. a PhD yeah. attached to your name, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... Oh, this is a good show. Okay, I think it'll be helpful. Hopefully, it's helpful to people. The camera's still rolling. Yeah, we yeah. just got. Okay, good. We just okay. got an after good. show. Hey, you're gonna get a lot of hate mail for this. Be hey, prepared. Hey, good. We love hate we mail. We are prepared for, so used they're, to that. They're gonna say things that sound correct. Right. But anytime you actually analyze what they say, they're misrepresenting everything. It doesn't take long, but you've got to you have to, have to analyze it. And they're gonna quote some statistic. It's not true, but you have to go find it. And okay, where they get that from? Okay, boom. You're not right. Right. Well, there, no, there's actually like a, a simple one sentence that you say to people who believe in the flat earth myth. I think it's effective. It's get real bro. <laughs> get real bro. That's, that's effective. Yeah. yeah, but see, an evolutionist could say that against a creationist. True. I'm, right. you know, I'm being facetious. <laughs> There's, right. my, there's my big words. Bigger than potty, Dr. Carter. <laughs> I'm on camera with that. Great thing. <laughs> All right. Thanks, brother. Thanks for being on the show. Thank right, you so much. Thank right, you.